Is that one of the toughest sessions you've done for a while? Yeah, it's been a while since we've had a grueling session like that, but uh, it's nice. You know, we played a Friday game, had the whole weekend off, so got to get out, you know, sweat everything out and get back on the court. So it's one of those sessions that during it you get really fatigued, but afterwards you're, you're glad you've done it. Was there a bit of a wake-up call and the reason for, you know, the performances in recent weeks? Oh, Bevo, you know, you never know what you're going to get sometimes after a loss. It might be a light session. Other days you might show up and, and run a lot. So today I think it was more about us getting out and getting some conditioning more than anything. Don't yeah. know, last Friday night, was it just a collective case of cold hands? Yeah, you can't shoot the percentage we did and only score 65 points and expect to win. When we hold teams in the 60s like we have done the last two weekends, we'd usually back ourselves to get two wins, but it's at the offensive end and if, if we can't put the ball in the bucket, it's going to be a long night. Have you ever put a finger on why you should be shooting? Uh, no, I mean, we're missing a lot of open shots, so it's not like we're forcing bad shots, but at the same time, we're not playing the offence that we're accustomed to playing, and that's on the players. The players have to take accountability for the style we're playing at the moment, and, uh, and yeah, and the coaches can't put the ball in the hole for us, so we've got to score more than 65 points to win. Uh, can I ask, um, it seems to be Lish, Knight, seem to be the two scoring, and yeah. yourself, Toby, don't seem to get enough points. Is it time for you blokes to shoot a little bit more and score a little bit more? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we expect Matty and Kev to be our biggest offensive threats, but outside of those two guys, you know, Sean Redditch has averaged 18 points over his career, Jesse Wagstaff's a good scorer, but then it's the guys that, you know, have to pick up five, six, seven points, and I fall into that category that have, you know, got to start getting those, you know, little points, so 70 po points becomes 80 or 90. Is that just being a little bit more aggressive from your point of view? Yeah, definitely. We can't just give the ball to Kev and Matty and say, go win the game and you know, even if they score 20 points each that's still not enough so it's about the a, a whole effort from the team to step up and all of us to start putting the ball in the basket and being offensive threats even if we're not scoring. Cedric Jackson this week would be wrapped to uh, hear that name. <laughs> Yeah, in my opinion, he's probably the best player in the league right now. He's had a great season so far. And, uh, it's you know, we always have good battles against New Zealand, so it's nice that they're coming into our home court and we can really challenge ourselves against probably the best team in the league and, personally, the probably the best point guard in the league. How did you feel about playing in the new arena? Was it a good atmosphere for you guys? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, it was exceptionally disappointing to lose in front of 12,000 people because they generate such a special um, game and the, the tempo, everything is produced going off the back of how exciting it is to play in front of 12,000 people in such a beautiful arena. So we just hope that we can get some wins going and keep such a great atmosphere.